Hey everyone, and welcome to the tutorial series for the Procedural City Generator. In this tutorial for version 1.1.1, we'll be taking a look at how to use world composition and tile landscapes with PCG. If you don't have a tile landscape, I am including some files that you can download for free so you can follow along. The link will be in the video description. So go ahead and download those files and um, let's go ahead and keep going here. The first thing we want to do is create a new level. And in this case, I've done level WC underscore main. This is going to be our persistent level. So go ahead and create your level. And then once you do that, go to the world settings, go all the way down to world and enable world composition. As you can see, I have here. Once you do that, go to the levels panel here, click on the levels drop down, and select import tiled landscape. You'll have this window, click on select height map tiles. And at this point you can navigate to the files that you just downloaded. Select all of the files, click on select. And when you come back to this menu, deselect flip tile Y coordinates from here and click on import. And it's going to take a little bit. It could take a couple of minutes here. In my case, I've already done that. So we don't have to wait. So go ahead and wait for your files to load. And once everything is finished, nothing will happen. Your level will look exactly like this. And the reason for that is because they have not been loaded. So go back to your levels here. And now you're going to see that you have a bunch of different sub levels, each one for a separate tile landscape. So go ahead and select all of your levels, shift select, right click, and go ahead and click on load. And now your landscape is going to load and hopefully it should look something like this. So now we have all of these different tiles and you can see that they're different by clicking on the little eye icon here. As you click to make visible and invisible, you can see all of the different tiles of your landscape. If you go back to the world outliner, you're going to notice that you have a bunch of landscape streaming proxies now and level bounds. So we're going to keep things organized here and we are going to move all of them to a separate folder called, in my case, world composition, just to keep things interesting. Uh, first thing we'll do is we're going to select a tile that we're going to use to uh, spawn our city. One of the limitations of world composition in this system is that every actor needs to know which level it belongs to. It's not something automatic. So as we're spawning new actors like roads, buildings, props, PCG needs to know which tile each actor is going to correspond to. So to keep things simple, we want to make sure that we spawn the entire city inside a single tile. Okay. So in this case, since we have 16 tiles, we'll just select a tile that we think is appropriate. And I think this is probably the best tile right here, simply because it's like a little valley. So you can see here, we're going to go ahead and spawn our city here. And notice that um, I've already pre-selected that. So to make things easier, you can come here and rename the landscape streaming proxy. And what I did here is I just put dash city. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to figure out that I'm actually indeed at the correct streaming proxy. Okay. So knowing that we're going to go ahead and close that. We can now start spawning our city. Uh, so click on spawn scene blueprints and you'll see that we have now the main blueprints here. But before we do anything else, we want to make sure that we switch our current level to the uh, tile level where we're going to spawn our city. So we already said that we wanted this uh, proxy right here. So if we go there, come back to our levels, that specific one, if you're going to follow along with me, corresponds to X2, Y1. Notice that if I hide it, that tile actually goes away. So what we want to do is we want to right click this sub level and make this the current level and you'll notice the current level because it's going to be highlighted in blue and again so we can focus on our city specifically we can go ahead and hide everything else 
and just leave our tile visible. And again, another way of verifying which level is current is right here is going to give you uh, the current level, which in this case is X two Y one. That's the tile we selected. So go ahead and click on current landscape here. And when you click on the drop down, you'll see that we have several proxies. And in this case, we'll select the CD proxy that we just renamed. That is this one right here. If we had more tiles visible, just for an example, and you click on current landscape, Notice that we have a bunch more proxies available because this is going to detect all of the proxies that are available at the moment. So it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you select the right proxy. This is why I renamed it. So it's a lot easier for us to detect it and select it here. This is important because this is the, the landscape proxy we will pass to everything that we spawn so we can later deform the landscape. All right. So now we have our main blueprints in the persistent level and we've switched to our sub level, which corresponds to this tile. Let's go ahead and now create our city. And I'm just going to call this small veil. You'll see why in a second, create city. And you can see that we have the file here and let's go ahead and spawn our city limits. And they spawn somewhere else uh, at the very edge of the map. That's fine. Click on the top level blueprint that is going to be the BP city blueprint and you can just drag it and align it all the way to our tile and notice that in the in our case our tile is smaller than the city limits and the files that I have uh, unfortunately have very small tiles so we're just going to have to basically deal with that uh, by making the city limits a little bit smaller so in this case, I think, let's see, 1500 by 1500. Yep. By making the bound scale 1500 by 1500, we make sure that our bounds are still within the um, tile. I'm going to move this a little bit more here. And you can see that now we are inside. Hopefully, uh, when you're uh, importing your own tile landscapes, your tiles are going to be bigger than that. So there's going to be two choices here since we want to keep our city within a specific tile. You could either make the tiles big enough so your city can fit in one tile, or you could simply spawn several cities that are going to be part of a whole. So if I wanted my city to go on this tile on the next, I could just spawn this side of the city as I'm showing you in this tutorial, and then you can repeat it on the other tile and then manually join the roads to make it seamless. Okay. All right. So we have our city limits here and let's go ahead and spawn our road connectors. And again, this is going to be a pretty quick job. I'm not going to try to make this city look uh, incredible. The point of the tutorial is simply to show you how to, uh, how to use world composition. So, I'm going to place my road connectors fairly quickly here. I'm going to make this one, this guy kind of here. And notice what I'm doing is I'm kind of placing them right there at the top. And you can see that we have three road connectors. Very good. And now let's go ahead and spawn our zone. Let's go ahead and do a residential zone. And our zone kind of spawned in a random place there. That's fine. Click on the specific zone and zero out the location. And notice that the zone will be in the right place here. And let's just go ahead and scale it. This can be bigger than the uh, tile. Doesn't really matter as long as it covers the entire area. And click on marker visible. Deselect it so we can kind of see what we're doing here. All right. Then go to roads. Click on generate connecting roads. We have our connecting roads, generate main roads, generate minor roads, generate side roads. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Notice this is a very small city again, because of the size of the tiles. But the point is we want to make sure that things are spawning correctly. 
in our tile landscape. Now, let's go ahead and modify the landscape. So we can go ahead and click on main roads. Normally you would do the intersections, flatten the points, follow the regular process. In this case, I'm gonna jump straight to align terrain, click on apply action, go to minor roads, apply action, go to side roads, apply. And I actually forgot, we also wanna do the same thing here for the roundabouts. And let's go back and do the main roads one more time. So we have that. You can see that the landscape proxy is being deformed by the roads. And now we can go ahead to the building side. And it's exactly the same as you would normally expect. We'll click on spawn road buildings and the buildings will spawn and in this case they're going to automatically modify the terrain as you can see there that's just part of the settings and i'm not even going to bother spawning the next one you can see that now the buildings have correctly spawned so what do we do we go back to the roads we select our main roads and again we align the terrain align the terrain for the minor roads align the terrain for the side roads then we go back to buildings let's go ahead and select all of our residential buildings since we did that uh, all of the um, buildings in this city are of one zone residential and now we can go ahead and apply the action to set the mailbox you can see that the mailboxes are now set and we can do the same thing for the driveway apply action and remember um, that we have to go back to the driveway option section, deselect use driveway, and then select it again for the spline to be updated. And notice now that if I just click escape, now we have all of our buildings with the splines that are going around and spawning correctly. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can see that we have our city, if we take a step back here, all in the uh, specific tile. And if I click on save current, uh, it's going to save everything on that specific tile, the tile we selected, which is X2, Y1. And once it's finished and I can click on play, you'll see that the landscape tiles around our city are going to load and unload correctly, all handled by world composition. And then we just have to uh, just play the game normally. If you wanted to have another city on another tile, you would basically do the exact same process. You would make your other tile the current level. Then you would go back to the creation tab here. You would create a brand new city, set, your, um, set all of the elements. And once that's done, then you'll have your city on the other tile. So if I go ahead and click play, I'm just going to click on play here notice that everything is working as intended everything is loaded all of the furniture here is loaded I'm gonna walk out and notice here in the background the mountain that is a new tile that was loaded by world composition if I start kind of running all the way here you can see that that tile is unloaded. Obviously, these tiles are very, very small, so you're gonna notice that loading and unloading. For your own specific project, I'm sure you'll have a much better terrain with, with a more sensible tile sizes uh, that you can then use to, uh, to spawn your cities. But that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you really think about it, it's fairly simple. Um, all we need to keep in mind is the tricky part of having the correct level loaded when we're spawning our cities. Otherwise, uh, PCG doesn't know which level and which tile to use. But once that is sorted, you can go ahead and spawn your city on the correct tile. And that is pretty much it. We have our city loaded here on the correct tile. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment on uh, right here on YouTube on the video. 
if uh, you haven't joined Discord, go ahead and join our Discord server. I am way more active on our Discord. Uh, it's also quicker for me to answer questions there. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them on the video or come ask me on Discord. Hope you like uh, the update and this tutorial has been useful to you. Thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next video.